Hi, I'm Shady Gerges with the Healthy Brain Center at the Psychiatric Corporation of Motez Gerges, MD, Incorporated. Many of us have older loved ones in our lives and we may become accustomed to the lapses in memory they may experience from time to time as part of the aging process. But unfortunately, for some people these lapses in memory can become more serious and can begin to interfere with daily life. This is not normal and it may in fact be a sign of mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. It is estimated that some people with Alzheimer's have one to four family members acting as caregivers. So while you may feel overwhelmed with your responsibilities at times, you are not alone. This program is designed to help you and other caregivers going through similar experiences. Our first task is to help you understand what it means to have mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. It's not easy making medical decisions for someone else but the more knowledge you have, the more prepared you'll be to make the best decisions possible for your loved one's care. As I just mentioned, memory loss may sometimes happen as a consequence of old age, but mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease is something more. It's a progressive medical illness that attacks the brain's nerve cells, or neurons. When these neurons are attacked, their connections with other nerve cells are broken and they ultimately stop working. This may lead to a variety of problems with cognition, which includes memory, reasoning, communication, and understanding. Symptoms of these effects may include having a difficult time planning or carrying out everyday tasks, like preparing a meal or placing a telephone call, forgetting simple words or substituting unusual words in speech and in writing. For example, instead of referring to a pen, people with mild to moderate Alzheimer's might ask for that thing that you write with becoming disoriented to the point of getting lost in their own neighborhoods, forgetting how and why they arrived somewhere and not knowing what they were there for, showing poor judgment such as wearing clothing inappropriate for the weather or the occasion, having problems with mental tasks like forgetting what numbers are and how they should be used, misplacing things by putting them in unusual places such as storing an iron in the freezer or a watch in the sugar bowl, having rapid mood swings for no apparent reason, and showing dramatic changes in personality like confusion, suspicion, or dependency on a particular family member. While any of these symptoms might affect older people in mild forms from time to time, a combination of them, especially in their more serious forms, may indicate mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease, and thus the need for medical attention. Some people live with Alzheimer's for as long as 10 years or more. So the disease has the opportunity to progress through multiple stages until it becomes severe. However, this program is geared toward patients who are in the mild to moderate stages of Alzheimer's and how they may be treated. Knowing what these stages may involve can help you to prepare yourself emotionally, as well as in terms of the care you will need to provide. Most people who have Alzheimer's disease in the mild stage can still manage many of their daily tasks themselves with minor assistance. Some things you might notice in a person with mild Alzheimer's disease include trouble carrying out tasks with multiple steps like following a recipe, difficulty performing some household chores, avoiding social situations, trouble remembering appointments, people's names, or things that happened recently. There are some steps you can take to help your loved one cope with these possible effects of the disease. You may want to Ask a trusted friend or family member to help your loved one manage his or her finances. Write reminders regarding certain tasks and keep them in one place for your loved one to refer to often. Keep a list near the telephone of names and phone numbers alongside photos of family and friends. Label the contents of drawers, cabinets, and closet doors so your loved one can find things easily. Encourage your loved one to talk about his or her feelings with friends, family, professional caregivers, or anyone else that he or she trusts. Suggest that your loved one join a support group where he or she may meet others in the same situation. With moderate stage Alzheimer's disease, people have more trouble taking care of themselves, but they can still participate in daily activities and follow a comfortable and predictable routine. Some effects of the disease that you may notice at this stage include getting lost even in familiar surroundings, needing help to prepare for the day, such as bathing, choosing clothing, or getting dressed, needing help setting a table, developing poor table manners, feeling restless or starting to wander, especially in the afternoon or evening, getting suspicious, angry, or easily upset, having trouble recognizing family members, 
and having difficulty expressing things and understanding others. To help your loved one cope with the effects of moderate Alzheimer's disease, try to encourage them to stay involved in activities they enjoy, even if for shorter periods of time. Modify these activities to account for the person's limitations. Help them share memories with friends and family by creating a scrapbook or telling stories. Speaking calmly and clearly, and make sure you have your loved one's attention using single step commands. Plan for physical activity during the day to promote sleeping at night. Look into community resources such as adult daycare or home health care agencies to help your loved one and provide you with much needed breaks. Make sure never to neglect yourself. Now that we've discussed some signs and symptoms of mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease, in the next chapter we will discuss how it may be diagnosed and treated.